Hi, this is Anna Hack. We're going to talk, and what you're seeing in front of you is soapwort. Let me pan down to it. It is a beautiful pink flower and green leaves, and it grows wild in a lot of places. I actually saw it in Canada, but I have this plant from an old uh, lady's garden. She was growing it, and uh, they were selling it, and I wanted, wanted this plant. It's about two feet tall. It gets um, maybe two to three feet in spread, and it can continue to spread. Some people consider it evasive. Um, I haven't found it to be that evasive. I like it, it's beautiful. It blooms about July and August, and if you keep cutting it back and deadheading it, it'll keep blooming. And what the colonists did is they brought this plant over as soap, and they used the roots, the stems, the leaves, the flowers um, as soap. Now, I'm only using the leaves and the flowers. Uh, I would imagine that the root would make even, even a better lather than what I'm doing, but it's making a nice lather as it is. So what I did is I took, here's my, I took a handful of leaves and flowers, threw them in um, boiling hot water. Um, some people say you can use tepid water. I tried that. It doesn't really work. Um, I put it in boiling water and, um, and then put it in this glass jar. And um, I also put it in a spoon so it didn't crack and shook it up and look at the lather. See that beautiful lather? Apparently it's used with wool for wool. I think it keeps the lanolin, lanolin if I'm saying that right, um, in the wool. Um, I'll put a link of an article that I'm going to be writing about uh, soap wart. It also has medicinal value. Um, and again, I'll put that in the article as well. But I know it, know it mostly as soap. So if you actually grow soap wart, this is the, the plant that gets tall, not the one that is a ground cover. I grow that as well. I think that's called rock soap, soap wart. Um, let me know in the comments below um, if you've ever used soap wart as well. And like always, like and share my videos. And thank you so much for watching.